Don't do this at home. Well guys, it's been a while, but I'm back to do another cigar review. This is the Strata by Rocky Patel. I struggled for a while because I couldn't find anything that really excited me or even really interested me enough to where I thought to myself, yeah, I want to review that. Uh, just a bunch of, I don't know, just smoking a lot of the same stuff lately and just didn't really see anything out there that really struck me as interesting or new. I've got a few lined up now that I, I, that I think are solid reviews. Um, and I wanted to start off with this nice budget stick. Um, <clears throat> I came across these. These are actually a box uh, purchase, and you know you don't usually get a box when you when you order a, a, a budget stick really like this. You know the the Pedia, uh, Fumas. Those come or no? I don't. Yeah, they're they're the Fumas. Um, those come in a box. There's some other really great budget sticks that come in boxes. Um, but it's just kind of nice when you buy something that you know you're getting for like a buck fifty a stick. And it comes with a nice box. It just kind of adds to the experience. Um, <clears throat> these are some short filler sticks that I recently procured. Uh, I smoked a few of them. I uh, featured in my last video uh, how to make a what did I do? Like how to make a humidor for under fifteen bucks or something like that. Nice little jar humidor which I cut no small amount of criticism for, but that's fine. I can take it, guys. Um, you'll notice <clears throat> the foot of this cigar, undamaged. Anyways, uh, I've been doing some research, and by that I mean smoking these, and uh, I like them. You know, they're, they're a good budget stick, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a full review right now. The outside is a Nicaraguan wrapper leaf from Jalapa, a binder from Connecticut, and as I said, short filler from Honduras and also Nicaragua. This one is a 6x50 Toro, which I got on sale for $1.50 a stick, but the standard price is somewhere in the $2.50 range. Appearance is exactly what you'd expect from Rocky Patel, just about flawless. I've inspected a lot of these cigars as I've smoked them and haven't found any real flaws to point out at all. Nice double cap at the top. Beautiful, if not somewhat toothy wrapper. Excellent construction all the way around. A nice light floral aroma off the wrapper. Nothing too crazy. Let's get a cut. This is one of the few complaints I do have about this cigar is that being short filler, when you cut that, there's usually one or two little strands in there that either come off in your mouth or you kind of got to really take the time to kind of clean that out before you start drawing on it. Um, the draw itself has been perfectly consistent all across the board, even with a short filler cigar. These things are very well constructed, nice, slightly tight draw, very consistent all the way through. Uh, this one is no different, except for that, like I said, there's a little bit of a, just that crap that falls out of the top with a short filler cigar. So, let's get lit. Well, as you can see, I absolutely just roasted the crap out of the foot of that cigar as I was toasting it. I'm not sure. Well, it's got a, a bit of a runner. I'm not sure if that's my fault or maybe a spot in the wrapper that's just burning a little too easy. Who knows? Um, the draw, still excellent. Um, smoke output, excellent. Every one of these that I've smoked has just had a ton of smoke output. Fantastic. Um, body, straight medium. Not too high, not too low. It's almost a perfect medium. The uh, flavor is a touch on the floral side and also kind of like a baking spice type flavor. It's a very simple flavor. There's no draw flavor, finish flavor, nuance in the finish somewhere at the end. It's, it's pretty much just a straight punch of a little bit of floral and a little bit of sp that baking spice, you know, nutmeg, um, allspice, that sort of flavor. And uh, really nice, easy to retrohale smoke. Um, nothing too crazy to speak of other than that. 
As always, I'll smoke it down a little bit. I'll check in with you in a little while. Fifteen minutes in, a less than perfect burn. <laughs> That's to be expected and start off real great because of me. Um, decent looking ash. Nice little waves and layers in it. Uh, still perfectly medium bodied, still great draw. Flavor wise, pretty similar, not too, not too much change. Um, baking spices and just the a nice sweet earth on the end of the finish. It's kind of the flavor that lingers in your mouth. And that's about it. Check in again soon. All right guys, half hour, 45 minutes into this or so. Burn has just gone completely awry. I'm gonna to have to touch it up at this point. Um, I gotta say this is probably the worst burn I've had on one of these. I'm not sure how many I've smoked, but it's been a few. And uh, normally they don't go quite that bad. As you can see, it's canoeing something significant. Um, Flavor-wise, uh, a little bit of a like a roasted almond flavor popped up with everything else. A little bit less sweet. It was kind of, I will say that, you know, the first third, maybe the first first two thirds, there's some more of that stupid tobacco coming out of the head of that thing. It's just one of the drawbacks of this short filler cigar. Um, yeah, as I'm speaking, the burn's actually correcting itself, so maybe I won't touch it up. We'll see. Um, first third, first second third, pretty sweet, along with that, uh, that, that cooking spice flavor, that kind of pie spice. And uh, right now, the, that sweetness is starting to go away, and it's starting to kind of be replaced with these uh, sort of roasted type flavors, like a roasted nut flavor, and uh, maybe one or two others, I'm not sure. But uh, still going strong. <laughs> Just looks like hell, um, but yeah, still, still an enjoyable cigar, and I'm gonna check in one more time before I put it down. All right, that's the end of that one, guys. Whew. All right, the Strata by Rocky Patel. Let's go over that one more time here. Starts off nice, easy draw. And that lasts through the whole cigar. <sighs> Beginning of it, medium bodied, tons of smoke output, really nice sweet baking spice flavor. Lots of nutmeg, pie spice, all spice, whatever you want to call it. Very sweet through the first and second thirds. <clears throat> Amps up a little bit of a, a toasted almond flavor there in the second third. The final third, um, it does have a, a few astringent type flavors there in that, in that final third there. Um, not all the time though. And <coughs> excuse me. Uh, a little bit of sweet earth also in that second and final third. And a little bit of an actual very mild uh, like a pepper spice there in that final third as well. Medium body all the way through, tons of smoke output, nice easy draw all the way. The only really negative things I have to say about it are the fact that due to the fact that it's a short filler cigar, you get a lot of those small tobacco pieces in your mouth from the cut doesn't give you a nice clean cut. There's always some little flakes you gotta flip out of there. And then there's just a couple of extruded flavors there at the end. Other than that, excellent, excellent budget stick. These things can be found for really cheap online. And again, you get a nice, nice box when you order them. And they're right in the price range to be, uh, you know, a, a budget everyday smoke. And the medium body and really not really any strength in that cigar just allows it to be smoked really any time of the day. Um, right now I'm smoking this one as the first cigar of the day. Um, you could smoke it as the second cigar of the day. You know, you want to start out with something more of the Connecticut range and then move to this and then something fuller body later on. Um, or just go straight to this. It's great for mowing the lawn. I was out digging in the yard just now. So it's a great thing to have uh, just between your teeth while you're working and uh, just whenever. So I uh, really like these things and uh, I recommend you try it for uh, for an everyday smoke. Um, Cigar Page does not carry them, but I have to mention, um, I was gonna make a whole video of this, but I forgot and I've been busy. So um, right now, Cigar Page is throwing a crazy deal and it's just for uh, affiliates of Cigar Page. So in the link in the description below is a special, I think it's eight pack of cigars um, for $10. <laughs> 
crazy good deal. Um, if you go to Cigar Page, you're not going to see this deal. Only if you click the link below because I'm an affiliate. I have this link for you guys to click. Ten, eight cigars, ten bucks, free shipping. Um, depending on what state you're in, there's probably going to be a little bit of tax on there, but it's pretty much going to be ten bucks. You get eight cigars, and they are all 90 plus rated cigars. So um, definitely go check that out. Uh, it's only until July 7th, so um, be sure and, and head down there and check that out immediately if you're interested. Um, otherwise, you'll have to look somewhere else if you're going to want to try these uh, the Strata from Rocky Patel, but there are a bunch of other Rocky Patel cigars on Cigar Page. I'll put the regular link to Cigar Page in the description as well as that link that goes st specifically straight to that 8-pack uh, that of cigars for 10 bucks. So a great deal that you're only going to find through somebody that's an affiliate with Cigar Page. So <clears throat> that's all I got for you guys. I'll try and crank out some more reviews later on. I got some premium cigars. I got some other ones that are more in the budget range.